What's happening? How's everybody doing? So today we're going to be feeding everybody. Got my little smorgasbord of food here. Um, I'm going to feed the new snake. Hopefully he eats. Not sure. Uh, and I'm also not going to do a video on the new snake because when I got him the other day, it was like 8 o'clock at night when the guy brought him through and I'd been running errands all day trying to get Christmas stuff together. And... I just haven't really had the time. I've been working. So, you'll see him when he eats. I'm going to tell you what it is right this second. Just see it then. He's just a real little guy, though. Um, we're going to feed Annabelle, the tiger rat snake, a chick for the first time. I got some feeders came in the mail the other day. Bought some baby chickens. Hopefully, she eats one of them. Damn, be kind of neat. Mix her diet up a little bit. Then the boa and the ball python. I fed Muffin, the reticulated python, yesterday. I recorded it, though, so I'll add that into this video whenever I put this video together. Well, that way you guys can see her eat a rabbit. It was like 2.62 2 pounds is how big the rabbit was. So I'm going to get these defrosted, and we'll come back and we'll feed some stuff. Hopefully everybody eats. Like I said, I tried to do this same thing last week, and uh, nobody cooperated, man. Nobody wanted to eat on camera, so fingers crossed today's better. I'll see y'all soon. All right, so should be about done defrosting. Check them out, check them out. Yeah, all good. All right, let's get these in a bucket. Get in the snake room, feed everybody. Annabelle is in a really good spot. When I tried to feed her last week, she was all in the corner. It was really dark. You wouldn't be able to see it anyway. Right now, she's right underneath the basking light. So that should be a pretty good show. All right, so that's the new snake. Just that little guy. The guy said he's eating right off the tongs. Let's see. You want it? Got it. Boom. Cool. Hopefully he finishes. Sometimes they'll wrap stuff up. But, um, they won't eat it. So we'll leave him be. Alright, so me and Tuck. This is Tucker. It's my dog. He seems sweet, but he's a pain. Watching the video, editing it, and I left a lot of stuff out, which... It's very like me. I get so focused on something and I forget everything else that's going on around me. So the new snake is a caramel carpet python. Um, carpet pythons come from Australia. I believe the parents to that one, the guy told me and I just completely, I should have wrote it down because I'll forget. I think the dad was a caramel jaguar, caramel jungle jaguar carpet python and then the mom was central or a caramel central i I'm, I'm probably making stuff up to you guys i don't know but i know he's a caramel carpet python he does still need a name i'm sure erica will come up with one this week she's in charge of naming pretty much everything so i'll update you on that when that happens till then you got any ideas put something down below man i'll take it into consideration my nephews always try to come up with names, and I shut them down, because that's what Day Day does. He shuts it down. But you come up with a good one, I might consider. So let me know. So Mochi, he eats like a champ. Where you at, bud? What's that? You smell it? This is the first time I've seen her eat. She snatched it. 
she's just eating it. I've never seen that. She's gonna freaking choke. That's wild. That's crazy. Crazy. Narrating Annabelle's feeding. So she did eat the chick. I didn't really get the video of her taking it down because she was hiding behind her hide box. But first she didn't eat the chick. She grabbed it, she let it go, and it laid there. Left the room for a little bit because I've never, that's the first time we witnessed that together, her eating a meal. Usually, I give it to her, she bites it, sets it down, and she won't eat it until I leave the room. This time, she ate it right in front of us. And snakes are supposed to eat from the head to the tail. Um, the legs fold back easier that way. I've never had a snake straight up just eat something from the side like that. So, that was pretty wild, right? Also, after she ate the mouse, I tried to refeed her the chick, and she ate it. Kind of the logic behind that is she just ate. She's fired up. She knows it's food around. That's the first time I've fed her a chick. I don't know if she's ever even had one. And chicks, mice, rats, rabbits, guinea pigs, they all smell different. So some snakes you know, won't eat, won't eat rats if all they've ever eaten is mice. Fortunately... She ate the chicks, so now I can switch her diet up between mice and chicks, which is pretty cool, you know. You can give them the same thing. You can give a snake just mice or just rats or just whatever, but it's always good for them. It's good enrichment, you know. You switch the diet up, same as you. Like, you don't want to eat a ham sandwich every day for the rest of your life. You want a turkey sandwich every once in a while. Maybe some roast beef, you know. A bag of chips. A little soda. What do you think? You like soda? No. He's not a fan. I'm giving him soda. He makes his weird face. <laughs> I guess the bubbles. I don't know. But Mochi eats every week for me, right off the tongs. Not a problem. Annabelle now is getting better, which is really cool. Coming with some cool feeding videos with her. I'd like to get her to the point where I can take the mouse on the tongs and get her to chase it. Have her, like, whipping around the cage trying to you know, hunt down the live prey, even though it's not live. And then, as it turns out, the new snake is going to eat off the tongs. The only snake I'm having problems with is the Nicaraguan boa, which we decided to name Slinky. Last week was his first meal with me. He didn't eat it off the tongs. I had to set it in the cage. Right now, he didn't eat it off the tongs. I have it still sitting in the cage. I haven't walked in there and checked yet. Sometimes, if a snake won't eat, you just leave it there, man. They'll figure it out. They smell it. He did eat last week, so I'm not stressing too much. But I I get weird. If something doesn't eat, I start panicking. Like something's wrong with them. But in reality, there's nothing wrong with him. He might just not want the food right now. So I'll let that sit for a little while. If he doesn't eat it, I'll give it to Mochi. He'll have no problem having seconds. So now for the grand finale... Here's a video of Muffin eating a two and a half pound rabbit.
Another thing I tried to do last week was feed the Pac-Man frog and the leopard geckos on camera, but the angles were all wrong, the camera was all shaky. The camera's probably shaky all the time anyway, but we're going to give it a try right now, see if it works. Um, the frog's eating silver side minnows tonight. I feed them crickets also sometimes, I'm just out right now, and then the gecko is just going to be eating mealworms. Really not that exciting, but let's try to get it on camera. Dummy. Let go. Thing's a freaking pit bull, man. It's a leaf. Alright, that's it. Uh, the boa still did not eat, but he is more active at nighttime. So I took the rat out, warmed it up, turned all the lights off in there, put it back in there. Fingers crossed he eats it. And next time, I'm going to try to make the feeding video a lot more organized. What? Tucker, being crazy. That's what he does. Don't get Yorkie. They bark all the time. But I'll try to make the feeding video. A lot more organized, learn from my mistakes. Like, comment, subscribe. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. Do something you love at least once a day. I'm telling you, it's good for the soul. Peace. Mm -hmm.